Hi, I'm Judy Vitale, and this is your weekly horoscopes at work from ReadTheStars.com. Well, it looks like a pretty quiet week overall. It's a real relief for me as an astrologer to not be telling you, oh my God, the sky's going to fall this week, because it's really going to be pretty normal, uh, considering what could be. The highlights are Mercury moving into Gemini, giving us an ability to speak and think and, and carry our thoughts from one place to another with a rather smooth pace, and that's going to be lovely. And I think that possibly the best day for work this week is going to be Friday, when we have a nice Virgo moon and a trine from the planet Pluto with the moon to make us feel empowered about um, doing what we do at work. So that that's um, the summary. But let's go day by day now and talk about what's going on. On Monday, the moon's going to be void, of course, until 1.56 p.m. Eastern Time. That means lay low on Monday morning. Don't do a whole lot. Don't expect too much. Um, don't make any big purchases and that kind of thing until the moon moves on into Leo at 1.56 p.m. Eastern Time. On Tuesday, we have the Leo moon kind of blazing us all through, making everybody feel very happy and confident. Confidence arises and, and comes to the fore. And we have to be careful of overconfidence, of course, but by and large, it's a, it's a good thing. And the sun will be in a sextile to Jupiter also on Tuesday. On Wednesday, we're going to have the void, of course, moon, but that's also the day that Mercury goes into Gemini. So it won't be a completely dead day. We will feel a, a kind of shift, a difference, a, a greater ability to communicate, which will come in. And um, people will be talking about their ideas a lot more than possibly they have been over the past several weeks. Um, maybe talking about more about their feelings and their pleasures than um, their actual thoughts and ideas. On Thursday, um, the moon will still be in Virgo, which is, um, or will be going into Virgo at that point, but um, early, early in the morning, and it will make an opposition to Neptune. This is not great for clarity. This is more about um, envisioning things the way that they should be or could be, rather than dealing with things the way that they are. Friday, on the other hand, as I've already said, is the best day for work, and that is going to be the day where you want to get things done, okay? Um, this is great for presentations. It's great for asking for a raise. It's great for starting a new project. All of those things. So think about that for Friday. The weekend on um, Saturday, we're going to have the moon go void, of course, on Friday evening, and then it'll go back into action on Saturday in the sign of Libra. That all sounds really nice and peaceful, except we're also going to have the sun in direct opposition to Saturn. So the things that we want to do are likely to meet with opposition and obstacles. It's a day when people are not going to be terribly optimistic. If you're feeling that way, do try to remember that it's just the way that you feel for one day and things will change. And Sunday is Mother's Day. Um, it's a day when no matter how we feel about our mothers, we have to at least acknowledge that, you know, they did their very best with what they were given at the time. And even if you don't feel that way, try to do something or honor somebody else in your life who has been like a mother to you. Venus is going to be opposite Mars. And I guess that's why I put that the way that I did. I think that people are going to be thinking a little bit about the difficulties that they have in this very important relationship. So try not to let that rule the day. Instead, really from your heart, just try to be grateful. And um, if you are a mom and you're expecting gifts and brunches and all that stuff, don't expect too much. Because I think that people are starting to get a little bit resentful with all the holidays stuff. You know, everybody comes to expect this great expenditure of money just because it's a holiday. Be happy to get the love that you receive on Mother's Day because it's really important too. We're going to have also Mercury in a square to Neptune. So there could be some confused things and people saying stuff that maybe they don't mean to say. So um, just take it easy on Mother's Day and don't make a big deal out of it. Don't get all hung up about it. So enjoy this nice, easy week. And it's a great week for a reading. So go ahead onto my website, readthestars.com. Click on private video readings and I will be there for you. Sending you a PayPal request for $19.95, five to seven minutes of me reading your chart. Then I put a link up on YouTube that only you and I can see, nobody else, okay? And um, from there, you will be able to get a little bit of insight about your life. And uh, keep coming back every week this time. We put out a ReadTheStars.com weekly horoscope like this. Usually it's in a different chair, but I was camera challenged today. So here I am. Uh, <laughs> and if you want to reach me for any other reason, for a private reading, for a speaking engagement, 
Um, you can do so at Judy at readthestars.com.